What is up, YouTube? It's your girl, Evelyn, and today I want to highlight some upcoming shows and films featuring queer lady characters. So sit back, enjoy the video, and if there are any upcoming shows or films I've missed, please let me know in the comments. The Affair is a lesbian period drama set in 1930s Czechoslovakia. Hannah and Liesel are lifelong friends who happen to be in love with each other, but it's the 1930s. The film spans decades as Hannah and Liesel try to overcome their unhappy marriages, as well as survive the German and Soviet occupations in their country and eventual forced exile. Judging by the trailer, the cinematography looks amazing, and so does the architecture of the house they're fated to return to again and again. If you're in the mood for a lovely looking World War II lesbian love story, you can catch the affair March 5th on demand. Everyone's favorite supernatural western returns on March 5th to complete its fourth and final season. That's right, Erpers, Winona Erp has been canceled again. So, why do you, why, why do you, this is exasperating. The final six episodes will no doubt be bittersweet, but hopefully fans will get closure, and who knows, another network or streaming service could always pick up the show. For now, you can catch your pals from Purgatory March 5th on the Sci-Fi Channel. The One is a Netflix series about, well, finding the one. In a world that probably exists in the Black Mirror universe, science has discovered that true soulmates share a specific gene, allowing you to be matched with the person who is scientifically perfect for you, which sounds great, in theory. But I'm guessing there might be a hitch or two. There's not much information out about the show, but the trailer depicts a couple of ladies blowing kisses at each other, so it's probably safe to assume it's gay. You can catch the one March 12th on Netflix. Rainbow's End is a film about a well-to-do lesbian couple who adopts a child with a genetic predisposition for violence, and I for one love this plot. It reminds me of the film We Need to Talk About Kevin or The Commuter, a fantastic episode of the anthology series Electric Dreams. To me, films and shows like these are far more terrifying than any horror film could ever hope to be. Because what do you do when it's your child who is quote unquote the monster? I will be reviewing Rainbow's End next week over on Patreon if you're interested, and the film will be available to rent on demand March 18th on Lesflix. The first episode of the Punky Brewster reboot was released this month on Peacock TV. Now, I've never watched the original, but it was very much a beloved sitcom of its time. In the reboot, Punky's best friend Sherry is a lesbian, so this is definitely a show to keep on your radar. And since we seem to be in this era of remaking absolutely everything for no reason at all, I would like to formally nominate Pippi Longstocking to be rebooted. For the three of you who've somehow made it to 2021 without experiencing an existential crisis, you might want to stop the video now. For everyone else, welcome to the abyss. You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it. Aniara is a super dark, post-apocalyptic sci-fi film about a spaceship that gets knocked indefinitely off course on its way to Mars. Our main homegirl is MR, and she runs the ship's Mima which is essentially a super emo version of Star Trek's holodeck. You walk into the Mima, you think happy thoughts, and boom, you're there. As time goes by, the people on board the ship become more and more despondent, and begin heavily relying on Mima to escape the horror of their reality. That is, until Mima has had enough. Although I absolutely loved Aniara, I have to warn you, 
it is a very, very dark film. Watching the people on board the Aniara sink into mental and moral decay while trying to find any reason to continue living, all while their self-made society collapses around them, is a lot. And even though there is a sweet lesbian love story stuffed inside, the film is still a super heavy watch. This is not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but it was my absolute favorite film that I watched this month. And that is it for the list. I want to give a special shout out to my newest patrons, Meg and Rochelle. You're beautiful. And if you want even more reviews from your girl, head on over to Patreon where you can recommend films, TV shows, or documentaries for me to review. As always, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to let me know which film or TV show you're looking forward to the most, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.